Commander! What should I do? There's something wrong! The controls aren't working! Uh, just let me get out of this gear and I'll take a look at it. Uh. Noel, we need an emergency repair on the port engine. You know what to do. Got it! Leon, let's just worry about staying on course for Mars, okay? Everything's gonna be fine on the other end, because we're going to stick together! We'll stick together and make this all work out. Together, the Lynx family will overcome each and every hardship. Yep. Family. I like that. Family. It's great that we're now starting to pull together like an actual family now. All that's left is you, Rachel. Why did you send Dollface to me? Oh, is it that time already? A family should have dinner together to solidify the bond. Sound like a plan. <sighs> I forgot about these. Well now, what do you think I should do with all these old children's books of mine, Kitty? I don't know what Dad kept them for. Dinner, Noel. Hey, didn't anyone ever teach you how to knock? Jeez. Being rejected is always hard, but don't give in by giving up or losing your temper. Okay then. Hey, I was thinking we could have dinner together, you know, as a family. No. Aren't you gonna have any dinner at all? I don't think all this fad dieting is healthy. How about a special locale dinner? Noel! I wanna be left alone, oh. especially by you. What do you mean by that? Come on! Open up! I don't want anything, Dad. I don't get it. When we escaped from Zarugasu, we were perfect and happy and everything. We were just scared to die. That's a terrible thing to say, Leon. Well, you know, it's the truth. We managed to get through all right without your help. And now we're going to find your mother. So you keep saying, that is if she's alive. She's alive. Now we can't go home and the situation is worse than ever. Only three days ago, the Lynx family escaped from Zarugasu and it is believed headed for Mars. <laughs> Investigations have revealed the possibility of these terrorists being leaked. We'll clear it up when we train. find your mother. And in the meantime, we'll go on as Galaxy's Most Wanted, right? Leon! Every time I think it can't get worse, it just mushrooms into a bigger and bigger nightmare. You outdo yourself, don't you, Dad? This sucks! I mean, it's like you plan it! <laughs> Fine, don't have dinner. Ah! Oh. Why do I feel so strange when I get near another orbital frame? That's when it happens. When they get close. I don't understand it. No one's coming to see me today. <gasps> Sir Uncle! When there's a misunderstanding, it's important to talk and make sure everyone has a chance to express themselves. Well, we talk. We've got plenty of time before we get to Mars. Plenty of time for us to express. Sir Uncle? Hmm? Oh, hey, Dollface. I'd ask you in to have a beer, but I guess that's impossible. <laughs> I guess. Can I ask you for some advice? I gotta read this book another hundred times before I'll be qualified to be a good father. <laughs> All right. Maybe later, then. Hmm. 
the same book 100 times. Reading must be great fun. Hmm. Book. Book. your name? My name's Dolores. Oh, Dolores. So fair and rare and wonderful. <gasps> I guess it's a little tight to dance in here. Oops. I hope it's all right and I didn't ruin anything. a great deal of micron level damage in the left engine. It was probably hit when you cut the cargo container loose. We seem to have overshot the calculations when we accelerated under those conditions. Because of that mistake, we have been consuming an excessive amount of energy and fuel. Why didn't you notice it when we went to repair the damage? It's not exactly the sort of thing you would notice unless you did a detailed microscan like Dolores. You're the one who should have thought about fuel efficiency when you were plotting the course to Mars to begin with. You told me to set the course heading, and I did, so shut up. I never piloted a spaceship before. What am I supposed to know about these things? Oh, right, but I'm supposed to know everything about fixing them. 
Hello, you were a site manager. What about you, huh? The genius computer geek. Just because I know a few hacking tricks doesn't mean I can fly a spaceship. And just because I site manage doesn't mean I know how to fix one. Building is building. It's not rocket science. Uh, hello, it kind of is. It's just like Cinderella's older sisters. Uh, I uh, hate uh, you! Uh, uh, stop uh, trying uh, to get... All right, let's stop torturing each other. It's neither of our faults. It's... It's dads, dads of course. course. Here's the current position of the Ender. So the closer to the start, the higher the compression? See how it shows Mars here at these coordinates? Look here. I have a feeling Mars is a lot closer, though. But according to the onboard cruise plan, we haven't even reached a third of the distance. Even if we decelerate, we're still screwed. We're going to run out of fuel and overshoot Mars, which means we're dead in space. The space compression effect creates the illusion of distance. See the difference when I adjust for the Wollenbeck catapult compression? If we're lucky enough to drift into Mars' orbital path, someone might find us. But we're talking some pretty iffy probabilities. And even if we were to fall into the orbital path, the Ender might be our tomb. Because who knows when somebody might come along. Like the charming army guys who are following us, right? Hmm. So once again, we're looking at degrees. Like, just how much worse it might get for us. This isn't looking very good. Now hold on. Huh? We have other options, so don't panic. Options like getting really drunk? It's for a toast. To celebrate. Just ignore him, Noel. He's off on one of his flights again. <laughs> Don't forget, I'm the one who knows how to fly this thing. What's this? It's Kurushu, an asteroid used for army development projects. About 50 years ago, the project stopped, but the facilities are still there as far as I know. Fuel, too. So can we make it then? You bet. Even if it's on fumes and a prayer, we'll get there. Oh, <laughs> Dad! Leon, go on ahead and input the new course. It's full speed to Kudashu. You got it, Dad. <laughs> <sighs> but this wonderful happy time was not to last. The time for magic to end had come. What do you mean you can't find it? I've got all the detection equipment at full capacity. There's no coup to shoe out there, Dad. I think you made it up. Well, maybe they had it dismantled, Dad. But there's no reason they would have done that since it's more trouble than just leaving it. It's stupid. It's army. It could have been anything then. What do you mean by that? I mean that even if it did exist, for all we know, it's a base that's been camouflaged. You know, if it's a surveillance outpost or a secret operations site, then we'll never find it. It's out there and it's findable. Just stop assuming the worst and keep looking! Where exactly are we supposed to keep looking? Even if it's really out there, there's no way our sensors can pick up a military base. You should know that, Dad. You were a soldier once. <sighs> Sir Uncle, I read the book a hundred times just like you. Aw, Sir Uncle. Why do I always want to believe him when everything out of his mouth is another lie? Sir Uncle, what's wrong? Hey, Dollface. Hey. You think you could sing that song for me? Hmm? Okay. Good night, sweet dreams to you. Riding on a ship of clouds. Spread your white wings. Cover me softly. I just can't do anything right. Everything I've ever done, I've done because I really believed it was the right thing. But what do I know anymore? Because of that, I let you leave. How could I know it was so wrong to let you go? <laughs> and now here we are, drifting along helplessly in space with my kids who never wanted any part of this. It's funny how I never felt Mars was far enough away until now. Um, sir, Uncle? Huh? I could take you all the way to Mars if you wanted me to. You could what? Can you really do that? Uh, I think so, yes. Wow, perfect.
Leon! Noel! Come down here! What now? He just doesn't let up! I guess there's no harm in listening. What can he do to make things worse this time, huh? Leon, just listen. Okay, Dad, we're all ears for your latest brilliant idea. You guys get in your spacesuits and get in here. Hmm? I've decided that Dolores is going to take you two to Mars. Dolores? Can she do that? Uh -huh. She not only can, but she will, and the preparations have been made. So let's not waste any precious time. Will we fit? It'll be cozy, but take the kitty too. But hey, what about you, Dad? Yeah, what are you going to do? Only two can ride, and there's three of us, so I guess I'll be the one to stay behind. Stay behind? Dad, this ship is just gonna drift! You'll lose power eventually, and everything will fail, and you'll die out here! What kind of idiotic, boneheaded plan is that? That's the stupidest! Leon, stop it! I've made a decision, and you'll obey! <sighs> you'll obey me, and you'll let me do this for you, because that's what a good father is for! Now, get into your suits, and... Get going. Goodbye, guys. Tell your mother that I love her. I can't believe this. I can't believe he would do this. Every time I think he can't get worse... <sighs> hey, Dolores? After all that talk about destiny, why didn't you fight this? <laughs> because... because this was what he wanted. <laughs> I just can't believe it. It's crazy things like this that are the reason Mom left. <gasps> Look at that! Hey, Kitty, what you got there? It's Cinderella. Dad gave me this children's book a couple years ago for my birthday. I was 15, what was he thinking? I think he must still think of us like we're little kids or something. That's just typical. He's so completely detached from reality, he doesn't even see us. Um, there was something in that book that really bothered me. Hmm? Why didn't the glass slipper turn back when the magic left? All of the other things turned back at the stroke of midnight. You know, I never thought about that. It stays because of the magic of the prince's feelings for her. Huh? Yeah, that's what I always thought. The prince has magic? Well, sort of like magic, I guess. It was because they had feelings for each other that it stayed. He wanted to find Cinderella so bad that it kept the slipper from turning back. It's the magic of love. <sighs> Sis, I never thought I'd hear such mush coming out of your mouth. Well, I think I'm allowed to have a romantic thought. Hmm? People's feelings are very strong. They really seem to have so much power in them. I wish I could use magic like that. I could use it to save Sir Uncle. If the prince's feelings can make magic, then why not mine? If I believe hard enough, could it happen? Huh? I wish I could save Sir Uncle! I wish I could! And even when it escalates to a fight, step back. It's important as a parent to show magnanimity. Show it, I can barely say it. But I guess that's part of why I'm such a big failure at this whole fathering thing. Did my best. <sighs> What's this now? That's odd. A guidance laser? Sir Uncle? Sir Uncle! It's Dollface. Hey, girl, where are you? I found it, Sir Uncle. I found huh? Kudoshu. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> 
just goes to show that even when things are blackest, there's always hope.